Hello everyone, as I said in the real time clock video, we will implement an external interrupt in this video. We will get the necessary definitions from GitHub. You can find the GitHub link below. We add the definitions of the libraries required in the project. We made the pin adjustments in the other video. Now let's take a look again. The bottom left ones are set as external interrupt. The two output pins on the right are also set for LEDs. We also activate external interrupts in the NVIC part. The HAL GPO EXTI callback function provided by the HAL library is used to call the user-defined function that will be executed when the interrupt event occurs. This function is automatically invoked when an external interrupt is called for a particular GPIO pin. The user should define this function himself and code the actions to be taken when the interrupt event occurs in this function. For example, Events such as pressing a button or receiving a sensor data can trigger GPIO interrupts. HAL GPIO EXTI callback function will detect this interrupt event and call the user-defined function. In the user-defined function, operations can be performed according to the interrupt event, such as turning on a LED or reading the sensor data. We get the lines of code required for RTC from GitHub. You can access these parts from the previous real-time clock video. Since we wanted to keep the first time when we press the button and to turn on the LEDs when the time we want from this time passes, we add the necessary operations here. We add the necessary lines of code here to keep the current time.
Now we can debug and check if our code is working correctly. Yes, we achieved what we wanted, as we can see. When we press the button, we keep the current time and convert this time to seconds. At the same time, we keep the instantaneous time and convert the instantaneous time into seconds. We compare these two times and when the time between them reaches 30 seconds, we turn one lead and turn on the other. This process can be diversified. Sensors, relays can be added. Interrupt can be performed according to the data received from a sensor instead of a button, and a relay can be triggered instead of lighting the LED. I hope the video helped you. To Bright Tomorrows.